Welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Marion Ann Montgomery, the curator for clothing and textiles division of the Museum of Texas Tech University. You always come on with such fun and unique items, this one included. And of course, we've got the come and see exhibits that we're talking about. So let's dive right on in. First and foremost, what is this beauty here? This beauty came to us from um, Jane Davis. Her mother was Pauline Bean, a very important um, Lubbock person. She did a lot of volunteering, including at the museum. Okay. But um, what's really cool about this line is it was in, it was embroidered by Helen Rumpel. And they're going to show you his butt right there. Can you <laughs> see that name right there? Helen Rumpel signed it. She was a wonderful embroidery artist. She began making toys for her sons when oh. they were little. So I can't sh be sure whether this was for one of the sons or not. But isn't it great fun? I'm impressed at how good condition it's no. in. How old do we think this item is? Oh, 1960s, 1970s. Okay. Probably before you were born. I was going to say, my toys uh, do not look this good, and they are much younger. Um, but we won't be so talking about whether it was before I was so born or not. But, uh, so, okay, what else do we have? so the museum is getting ready for its 90th anniversary, and we went back and said, All right, what was the first thing that came into the museum in the clothing and textiles division? Well, that was a little too fragile to come today, but I brought you a really cool piece, and I'm going to hold it here for this young man to zoom in. Okay, so I'm tell hold us it about for a this long piece. time. Yes, when you get in real it. close, you're going to see that it's a hat pin. And the head on it is from, come on, you can come closer than that, come on. I can do better with my <laughs> smartphone, come on. It's from the Spur Ranch. And it came to us in 1937, oh. it was donated by Clifford Jones, and he's very important in Lubbock because the Texas Tech football stadium is named for him. So these are just two of the objects that will be out. We're going to be talking about, like, why did this come into the museum in 1937? I can tell you why this came in in, 19, in, in 2019, yes. but this is kind of cool to figure out. And so come and see on Saturday, it's Thursday, morning from 10.30 to noon, Saturday from 10.30 to noon. The program on Thursday is repeated on Saturday. It's at the museum. It is free. Okay. It's in the auditorium, so it's best to come in on the west side, about 10.15. We're going to look at these objects as well as another 20 or 30 objects um, and tell the story behind them. And some of them you will not believe. So I hope you can all join us. I love it. Now, of course, you have the white gloves on whenever do, you come to visit us. So uh, talk about the white gloves. Will people get to wear the white gloves? They will, because all of these objects will be out, and you won't be able to have any glass between you and the object. So you can pick it up. You'll be able to pick up Mr. Lion if you really feel like you have to, and look at him carefully and see how he was made, um, as well as the other objects that will be out But there. I feel like that's the best part of y'all's museum, is you get to actually, because I when you go to a museum and there's a bunch of glass and you're like, oh, well, that's pretty. This you get to touch, you get to feel, right. you get to see it. But up so close. the guards don't get mad at me. It's only for come and see, and it's yes. in the auditorium. Yes. If you start touching in the galleries, they get a little agitated. I could see that. We, and of course, yeah. you have to wear the white gloves. That's right. The when you big come to come and see, that's the fun part because we have tons of these sitting around. You can put them on and look at what you want to see up close and personal. I love it. And you guys have a few other exhibits. Uh, oh, we do. Well, around. ladies in red is still up. Hopefully. It's still up. I mean, the exhibits wants to take it down. There's a big party coming on Saturday. They want to take it down, but I think it's up until okay. Sunday. Okay. But it's definitely coming down on Monday the 28th. So if you haven't seen the ladies in red, now is the time. And then we're going to be doing our feed sack exhibit in January, in June, and then the 90th anniversary exhibit in in July. Well, and that one I'm sure is going to be absolutely spectacular. It will. 90 years is a long time, so you got to celebrate it. Lots well, of treasures to bring out. Now, of course, one more time. Where are you guys located? What time is all of this going on? And uh, favorite question: How much does it cost? It is free. It is located at the museum at the corner of 19th of 4th and Indiana, and it begins um, at 1030 on, on Thursday, repeated at 1030 on Saturday. Wonderful. Thank you so much, and bringing, you always bring such fun, beautiful things. I love it. Thank you for joining us Thanks. today. Make sure to head on out to that, because it's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience yes. to go see these wonderful things. And coming up next, details on a couples conference you won't want to miss. That's up next.